I just want to talk about um, what we talked about today in class, how you have the string, and when you take the whole string, that's the fundamental frequency. When you divide it in half, you get both sides doing double the harmonic frequency. So that's why at the 12th fret, conveniently, half the length of the string from the nut to the bridge is the 12th fret. Half the string, you double the frequency. And right there, you get that natural harmonic. Guitarists call them natural harmonics versus pinch harmonics, and I'll show you that in a moment. You gotta use a pick for that. Um, Uh-oh, I dropped it. The, uh, the natural harmonics are the ones that are, um, they're easily accessible on the fretboard. So we can move up. We have that first harmonic, which is an octave above. We double the uh, fundamental frequency. When we have that third harmonic, that's a musical fifth above. La, 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 la. And so that's how we get to that third one. And I believe the fourth one is a, a second octave above. That's a little quiet. Let me make sure you can hear that. There's fundamental, first harmonic, second harmonic, third. You should be able to hear that. So now I'm gonna show you pinch harmonics, which is where we use a pick. And we create a harmonic by hitting the string, and then we plot the, it, it, it's hard to explain. We let the string go ahead and hit our finger and then it mutes up to a certain harmonic and then only lets certain harmonics after that through. Um, and it gets that squealy sound that Eddie Van Halen uses and all the rock stars use. So I'll try and get that to work. There's one. Uh, you know what, first off, I'm just gonna go up the string and hopefully you'll be able to hear them. Because there's different, there's gonna be different, keep in mind what a harmonic is, it's the, gonna be the division of the string. So. Here is the first harmonic. Where is it? So we're dividing the string into certain fractions. Half, third, fourth, and then the exponentially shorter wavelengths. Um, so I'll just work up, stop talking. <laughs> So I'll go down a little bit. It'll be hard to get past the, don't listen for the fundamental frequency. It's not gonna, that's not what we're going for here. There's a third, la, la, a major third. Another octave, way above, that's like three or four octaves above. You probably can't hear that on camera, it's probably really soft, but I can hear that. And it's just all the harmonics. You're just literally going up all the harmonics. I think that's really cool, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh... If you put this audio from this video in the acoustic analyzer, you will see the little harmonics going up. So yeah, you can go ahead and try that. I'll try and give you one that where it would sound like if a guitarist was playing it. Um, it's not easy to do on acoustic, or at least it's not really less easy. It's more just you won't be able to hear it as much. The guitarists use it with distorted guitars and rock stars and stuff. Oh, I had that first time, right there. You can hear it right there. Yeah, that's it. I can't get any better than that. That's it. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone.